Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the Coin Dictionary. I'm Woohoo and today I've got for you a 1962 Scottish shilling from the United Kingdom. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin. So let's get started. Back on the obverse for a minute, this is the Young Laureate portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. It says around the edge here, Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen, defender of the faith, which normally accompanies this inscription, is right up here. We'll get to this back in a minute after I tell you that this uh, obverse was engraved by Mary Gillick. Now we'll turn this over to the other side. It is metal aligned, as you can see, as I turn it on its axis like this. As I mentioned, defender of the faith up top, one shilling, the denomination down below, and the date is being split by the Scottish shield of arms right here, the crown shield of arms, I should say. Note that the Scottish shield has only one lion as opposed to the English shield's three lions. These coins were produced from 1954 to 1970. The following year, uh, Great Britain switched to a decimalized pound instead of the uh, pound that they had been using since well, pretty much 1158, I believe. Uh, under this older pre-decimal system, 240 pence made up a pound. So one shilling was actually one twentieth of a pound. When decimalization occurred, these were then revalued to maintain that one over 20 fraction of a pound. So these were re-denominated at five new pence. These old shillings then continued to circulate until 1990 when the five pence was shrunk to its current size in order to cut costs. Now, 1962 has a mintage of 18,967,300. It is one of the better dates of the series, although not as low as it possibly could be. Uh, the year uh, 1961 is uh, much, much better, actually. As far as value is concerned, uh, mint state condition for these, uh, according to NGC anyway, is at uh, $3.50 to anywhere between that and $5. And uh, in average circulated condition like this, even though this is a nicer example as far as circulation goes, you might get a dollar if you're lucky. Anyway, hope that cleared up some information on this coin. And I'll see you next time when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like CoinMeltPrice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a new source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.